I have two goals for the ride today. First of all, I would like to determine the accuracy of the speedometer at different speeds. So I set my GPS app to kilometers per hour because that's what the speedometer is reporting. So that it's an apples to apples comparison. And the second, I would like to determine the maximum range of this motorcycle in D mode, not sport mode. Now, during the accuracy test for the speedometer, I may have to put it a couple times to S mode in order to be able to determine the accuracy at higher speeds than D allows. But other, other than that, I'll be riding around on fairly level streets until I have the battery depleted. All right, let's get started. I apologize for the angle of the camera. I was trying to make sure that it records both my GPS app as well as the speedometer. And in that attempt, I pointed it down too much. This ride was over two hours long. So most of this video will be presented in a time-lapse mode, except when I have something relevant to say. For the first part of this test, for lower speeds, I'm going to go to an empty parking lot and for higher speeds there is a level section of road uh, in our town. It's a level and straight and I'm going to do the higher speed test on that road. Okay, this is not going well. My phone keeps falling off. It doesn't stick. I have to find another solution. Okay, let's try this one more time. The phone holder that I improvised was not working. I dropped my phone twice and I don't want to drop it again and lose it. So, uh, back to the original idea of using 3M command strips. So hopefully, this time, I don't have to come back. Let's get started. Okay, here we are. I'm going to do this speedometer accuracy test in 10 kilometers per hour increments. So I'm going to set the GPS reading, for example, at 10 kilometers per hour, and then wait a couple seconds for it to stabilize, and then record what the speedometer is showing and just keeps increasing and then I'm going to repeat it two more times so three data points for each speed and hopefully the GPS will be stable enough so I can record some good data okay let's start from 10 kilometers per hour let's see if I'll be able to set it to a steady pace All right, 10. Okay, 10 again. And it's showing 11 or 12. So it's, I sped up a little bit. It's, this is very tough. Okay, 10 again. At 10 is showing 11. All right, let's turn around and try 20. I'm going to speed up now. I'm at 20, uh, no, I know oh, I exceed a little bit. The GPS app is L. Okay, 20 at 20. No, 19. All right. And one more time. One more try. It's going to take some time, I think.
20 and showing 22. Okay, for 50 and 60 kilometers per hour, I'm going to go on the street because I cannot reach those speeds in such a short stretch in the parking lot. At 50, it's showing 57. For 60, I'm going to need to turn around, make a U-turn. At 60, it's showing 72. Instead of 3, I ended up collecting 4 data points each at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 km per hour. And here are the results on this table. As you can see, the speedometer is showing anywhere from 10% to 15% more compared to the GPS app. So it is not very accurate. And now I'm putting it to D mode and I'm going to test the maximum speed in D mode. So full throttle. Going full throttle, it is hovering around. Well, it's 49 on the speedometer and it is fluctuating between 42 43 mostly but it's dead set of 49 kilometers per hour on the speedometer if I disable the sport mode this motorcycle qualifies as a moped because goes about 25 26 miles an hour it does it wouldn't exceed 30 miles an hour now I'm going to put the phone in my pocket so I can see the battery indicator This section is relatively long and in time-lapse mode. I did not edit it out for the sake of continuity as well as as the proof of the entire ride. You can skip 3 minutes to the next relevant section.
it has gotten quite a bit colder than an hour and a half before so my hands are freezing right now and we are losing light very quickly but I'm going to go until the battery light comes on and stays on most of the time and I, it's still reaching the stop speed for this D mode so I'm going to keep going All right, folks, it's not reaching its top speed anymore on this straightaway. It is level street and the battery indicator is blinking. The red light is blinking. If you can see it here, I'm going to get the camera a little closer. And I'm full travel right now. So it is coming down to its lowest capacity probably. I am probably going to do one more round and then head home after that. It's all doing re regenerative braking. I think it, the regenerative braking is connected to the left, meaning rear brake. So the road is sloping up slightly here. So it is slowing down and on the right hand side of the street there is this speed measuring device. I don't know if the camera is capturing it but right now it is showing 23 miles an hour. So before it was about 25, 26 miles an hour at full throttle on this mode, D mode, but now it has dropped down. And I'm going to go to the right into the bike lane because there's a car coming from behind. Let the car pass. Alright, this is my last stretch. Full throttle. The battery light is blinking as you can see. Showing 43 kilometers an hour. I'm going to make another U-turn and head home. Unfortunately, the battery of my action camera died before I made it home. But I made it home. It's, the GPS app is showing about 56 kilometers total uh, distance traveled, which is pretty good. And if you look at the battery indicator, it's still showing four bars, but during the ride, it was one bar blinking and red light blinking for the last like 10 minutes. So, Made it home. This is probably the longest trip I am ever going to make with this motorcycle. I'm not going to put the batteries in this kind of stress again. And also myself in this kind of stress again. For now, I'm signing off. Take care. Hope to see you in the next video.